Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there we have LC circuit, right? And for this LC circuit, we can see the L is uh, just uh, fixed. But C can change this. C is capacitance. So we can see the capacitor planes are separated by distance x. And it tells us this uh, capacitance C can change with x. So there we can write down the function connect the capacitance with x right in this uh, equation. You can check the previous chapters for capacitance. Now, another thing we know is about this LC circuit kind of frequency. And finally, we need to prove this equation. In this equation, you can see x and a are there, and also we have frequency lf and l inductance, right? So it looks like we can start from the frequency of lc circuit. Normally, the frequency of lc circuit, we can write it there. As we know, the angle of frequency for the lc circuit can write as 2 pi f equal to squared 1 over lc, right? Now you can put a c inside, so the equation looks like this one. Now, just uh, reorganize this equation. We can get the function for x just equal to 4 pi squared a epsilon naught f squared l. So proved. The second one tell you when the plant separation is changed by delta x, uh, the frequency changes by delta f. We need to prove delta x this equation, right? So how can we do that? So we can start from this equation we can get. As we can see, if uh, x changes, the frequency f changes, right? Because it's a 4 pi squared constant, epsilon naught constant, a constant, f constant. So you can see this is a function of uh, x with the frequency f, right? Now, if there is a small changes, small changes for the x, so small changes for x, we can get the derivation for x, right? So derivation for x is dx equal to 4 pi squared a epsilon naught 2 f dfl, right? So we do the der derivation at two sides, left side and right hand side. As we know, the derivation is just a small fraction of the x. So dx, we can write it as third x df, we can write it as a delta f, right? Now you can see, look at the left-hand side for this equation. We need to know delta x divided by x. So very straightforward, we use the delta x divided by x. So x just uh, inputted there. And you can see, all this uh, 4 pi squared a epsilon naught f, 1 f, and is l cancels. Right, so we get is a two delta f over f. So we proved it there. We it's proved. The third part is very easy. Tell you the quantity for the f and the quantity for the delta f. Ask you to find the delta x over x. So very easy, right? We just input f and delta f in this equation. Get the answer there. It's very very small. Thank you.